a new gameplay trailer has dropped for Pokemon Legends Arceus and it looks epic. Let's take a look. Yo, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Dan, aka Drive. I'm bringing you guys a brand new video today, and today we are diving into the world of Pokemon Legends Arceus as Nintendo, not Pokemon, has actually dropped a new gameplay trailer that does feature a few new screenshots that look pretty darn awesome. We've also got some updates from the Riddler talking about Arceus itself, and maybe a little bit more insight as to what is going on in terms of distribution of the game, and when we should expect it being in the hands of various Pokemon on the internet. And I think that's going to be very, very soon. So show some love, hit that like button down below, and make sure you guys subscribe to the channel if you're new so you don't miss out on our epic Pokemon Legends Arceus coverage, leaks, news, and much, much more, as we're going to be covering it on the channel over the next couple weeks before I jump into the game myself, which I'm very excited about, and I'm sure you guys are as well. But without further ado, let's take a look at this brand new gameplay trailer, break it all down, and then let's dive into the leaks. All right, so this trailer is blowing up, and you may have already seen it. It did drop yesterday, but it's very epic. I'm so excited to just explore. A place with sprawling landscapes where Pokemon roam free. A lot of these shots we've already seen. The Chime Echo is new. And this is new too. The, the Snorlax knocking into the tree. And then this is a new shot of Weird Deer kind of going through that tunnel. This is an interesting shot too, so I'm going to come back to a few different points once we kind of get through the whole thing and we'll break it down a little bit more. In Pokemon Legends, Dude, so excited. We're getting really close. So a couple things I want to mention that kind of threw down in this trailer. Obviously, the Chimeco is new. This Snorlax scene is really cool. The trainer sends out the Snorlax. The Snorlax then bumps into the tree and knocks down the item. So you're going to be able to use your Pokemon for utility in the game to be able to access various things. And it seems as though from the screenshots we've seen and the leaks and the different information we've gotten, a lot of this game is going to be focused around not only catching a Pokemon, but catching that Pokemon multiple times and obtaining items that those Pokemon can hold. It seems as though those items are going to be utilized for various parts of the game and they're going to be required for us to advance on and essentially create those checkpoints we need a checkpoint so we can advance into the game. It does seem like the Pokedex isn't all that robust though. It's going to be pretty small, but very interesting to note nonetheless. The last thing I want to mention that I thought was pretty interesting is this shot right here. There are multiple Glalies there. So are we going to have to take on multiple Pokemon at the same time in a fight? That could actually be insane, right? So our trainer here is just dodging, doesn't have a Pokemon out. But are there the potential for horde battles where multiple Pokemon will attack you? This one's obviously enraged, but you have these other Glalies as well. So some really cool stuff here. Um, we'll have to kind of ultimately see, but that was an engagement where maybe they can team up and maybe they can throw down together and fight you all together. So we're still waiting on that big trailer from Pokemon themselves, and we'll see if there's going to be any new reveals. Lots still kind of waiting for with evolutions of starters, new Hisuian forms, and much, much more. They may do some sort of a unique teaser like they did with Voltorb, but I'm still expecting something. I mean, at the end of the day, we're a little over two and a half weeks away from the launch of the game. So while we know it's going to leak pretty soon, Pokemon themselves has to come out with something. So this is a really nice kind of buffer in the meantime. But I, I would think by Friday, we've got to get some official news and maybe some last big bombshell to maybe encourage anyone who was on the fence about the game to potentially purchase the game. From there, the Riddler or Riddler Koo, who has been our primary insider this entirety of the league season, has come out with a post about 18. And the idea behind that is that there is a new plate for Arceus in Legends Arceus. So Arceus has 17 plates that we know of. Riddler is basically teasing at the fact that Arceus has a new plate or an old plate in the Hisui region. So curious how that's going to play out. Are there going to be a new, is there going to be a new form for Arceus? What's the deal with the forms? Are we going to see origin forms of Dialga and Palkia and Giratina? What are those Pokemon tie in? What are the forms going to be? And how are these legendaries going to be portrayed in this game? Most certainly Arceus has to, in, in my mind, has to have some sort of a secret to it, right? I don't anticipate Arceus just being Arceus in itself. I think that there's got to be some secrets that tie in the legendary Pokemon, uh, Dialga, Palkia, maybe Giratina, and of course Arceus. So the idea that he's teasing an 18th plate could definitely be a sign or some sort of significance towards that and us getting some sort of a different form for Arceus itself. And last but not least, I wanted to talk about the distribution of the game in Legends Arceus when this leak is most likely to be hitting shelves. So this website, Vast Video Games, which is a distributor for video games, I believe in the United States, they have actually on their website that it is available January 1st. So 
on the 1st of January, which was 10 days ago, 11 days ago, you were able to actually access your distributor account and get Legends Arceus ordered. So the kind of discussions going on right now is distributors have begun sending out copies. Depending on how far you are from the distributor, you may get those copies earlier. Places that are a little farther away, like Alaska or whatever, may be getting them a little earlier or later, depending on how they kind of work out shipments. But ultimately, what this means is we are pretty much guaranteed to get this game and the full leaks of this game really any day now I, i'm really anticipating by the weekend that this game starts to leak and we start to get people not only showing that they have copies but the data miners tackling it and much much more i think absolute worst case scenario mid next week but i really feel like by the end of this week by sunday we'll have some really substantial leaks that are hitting the the uh, kind of the internet regarding pokemon legends arceus as it's just a numbers game the more that these get sent out we know they have to distribute the copies before the game actually comes out so retailers have them to sell and all it takes is one person to get a copy of them early and start to kind of put information on the internet. So stay tight because I feel like we're, we're going to be getting something pretty soon. And that's really it for today. Not a ton of going on in the rumor mill or leak mill, but we do have that new gameplay trailer, which looks pretty sweet. And of course, more signs towards people getting this game very, very soon. 18 plates for Arceus. What do you guys think about that? Are we going to get a new Arceus form? Almost seems inevitable at this point. Be sure to hit that like button down below if you guys enjoyed this one. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. And let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. What are you thinking about Legends Arceus? Are you guys ready? Because I most certainly am. Thank you so much for watching this one. My name is Dan. I also go by A Drive, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.